How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Big Day Dave and this is episode 11 of a Let's Play series for Farming Simulator 22 on the mod map Hills of Tuscany. And before we get going, I just wanted to say something, kind of get a few things out there just really fast and then we can get going with the episode. Uh, just to let people know, uh, my daughter just got sick tonight. So the reason I'm saying this is because... Uh, over the next several days, we're going to just kind of play things by ear. So if you start seeing kind of fluctuations on when the Let's Plays and, and uh, live streams and things like that, when all that stuff kind of gets released, it's all going to be subject to whether or not she's feeling good or not uh, at my normal times of recording. Um, so we'll kind of play all this by ear. I hope to continue to get the content out as best as possible. But uh, my daughter obviously comes first, and I want to make sure that she's as uh, well off as she can be. It's nothing serious or anything like that. She just ran a fever today, uh, and I'm recording this on Wednesday the 20th of September. So, yeah, just not sure how well the, uh, the content's going to be coming out over the next couple of days. But we'll see. We'll see how everything goes. But let's go back to the actual Let's Play now. In the last episode, what did we end up doing? Well, we ended up finishing all the finishing touches on the fields that we have created over in the east and the west. And we cleared up a huge, huge wreck over on the inlet into the valley here. So it was a busy episode. We got a lot done. But what do we have going on here today? Well, got a couple of contracts we have to finish. Uh, got a bunch of fertilizing contracts we need to do and potentially even some baling contracts but I've been thinking about it and I think I want to take a different approach when it comes to the baling um, but we'll kind of get to that once we get to that but that also leads me to something else that I want to get done these two tractors in front of me as you can see here they have been my little workhorses got the big Veltra here and the smaller Massey and they have been great, but I think it's time that the farm here received an upgrade. We need a tractor that's going to take us into the future, that's going to have way more power than either one of these two could ever dream of having. And it's just, it's that time. It's time to make an upgrade because without that upgrade, it's going to be a struggle. And I think I came across a really good bargain for a brand new tractor these two are used they're you know constantly running out of uh you know running out of repair and i have to you know invest 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 to make sure that they're in as adequate running order as possible and i figured it'd just be better off just to get uh, a new piece of equipment so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to take these up to the shop and i'm going to go ahead and sell them i'm then going to pick up the equipment that is necessary to do the contracts once i'm done with all the contracts i will then deal with uh, these tractors so i'm going to go ahead and hop in these and i'm going to take them over there we'll see you over the shop once we get there all right so as you can see i've made it up here i'm going to go ahead and park both of these in the garage yeah, right there should be good. And now I'm going to go ahead and take care of all the contract work that I need to do here. So let's see. I've got fields 14, 94, and 26, all of which are fertilizing contracts. And I am going to go ahead and start loading everything up. Uh, I don't have any fertilizer over there, so let's start doing that. Let's go ahead and hook up to the New Holland. Here we go. Grab the weight. Now let's go ahead and fill this up. There we go. Okay, so we're going to need some more fertilizer, so let's go ahead and buy some of that. There we 
go. So let's see, what's the uh, equipment here? So the two bigger ones are for 14 and 94, and the little ones for 26. So 14, 94. Okay. So that means for 94 I can just cut through the woods over there and then for 14 it looks like I can make my way uh, looks like to the east of here and okay yeah oh why do I keep pushing that button all right so this one will go to 14 which is out in this direction here let's actually come out this side <clears throat> all right i will go ahead and take this over to field 14 and get started i will meet you over there okay so i'm heading up here down this little driveway in the field in front of me that is the one that's needing work done so let's go ahead and start slowing down There we go. I think this will work out just fine. Okay. Now, all right, cool. All right, so we are fertilizing the field. Very nice. This isn't going to take too long, just a few passes up and down. We should be good to go. Got this big kind of runoff area right here, so we're not going to have to worry about anybody's field and getting in too much trouble on that end. And there we go, check it out, we are all done. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this right over here. And the farmer can come pick it up later. Perfect. So now I'm gonna head off to the shop and pick up the next set of equipment. We'll see you over there. All right, back up to the shop. Let's pick up the little fence right here. Grab the weight first. And then the spreader. There we go. Fill this up. Let's see, this was for what field again? This was for 26. Which one was 26? Oh! Right out to the east. Perfect. Whoops. Okay. We are topped off. Ready to go. Oh, you know what? I think this was the field that was right by the, uh, by the wreck from the last episode.
Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, because it's right down here at the very end of the uh, the road here. So, yeah, I will uh, head over there and get to work. I think when everything's said and done, we're going to have uh, a good basis for getting the new tractor. I think everything's going to work out very nicely. I've got, like I said, I've got... Uh, <clears throat> I've got a kind of pretty good line as to what I want to get and I think it's going to work out just fine so yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm pretty confident and I think it's going to work just fine and it's going to be a massive massive upgrade. Now the only bad thing is I'm going to be going from having two tractors down to one but that one tractor is going to be able to do, you know, or have more horsepower than the two tractors I have combined. So, yeah, I'm okay with that. Well, actually, no, I take that back. Not quite combined, but pretty darn close uh, to that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Working just fine. Oh, it is struggling to get up this side of the hill. Come on, little tractor, you can do it. I think you can, I think you can, I think you can. Okay, here we go. We're starting to get up. Oh, go, oh, come on. You can do it. Okay, there we go. Now we're talking. just about done there we go perfect so we're gonna pull this off to the side right there all right let's go get the last tractor and do that field we'll see you over there okay we're back up at the shop gonna grab this new Holland first the weight then the trailer There we go. Now let's go ahead and fill this up and again we're going to have to buy some extra. Let's see. There we go. And this one was for 94 which is right there next to the vineyard there. So we'll go ahead and get that all squared away. Should be relatively easy. Almost. There we go. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drive over there. And I'll cut us in as soon as we get there. See you in a bit. Alright. We are here at the field. Let's go ahead and get going on this one. Now at this point I'm going to go ahead and cut us out 
I will bring us back in as soon as this field's done and when I get back up to the shop. We'll see you up there. All right, so I just finished all three contracts and getting ready to walk in here and get paid as well as sell off all these tractors. So first, let's go in and get paid. And there you go, as you can see, quite a bit of money for that contract work there. Almost, what was that, about 40 grand just for those three contracts. And now let's go over here and sell off our tractors because this, I am hoping we get a decent amount of money. This tractor here has over 100 working hours, 104 work hours. This one, what does this have? 41. So they're both, I mean, this one's really up there. This one's like about, and eh, just about half as young as this one. So it's going to be up there. I'm not expecting a ton of money, but hope I get something out of them. Let's see. And there we go. After everything is said and done, $156,000 was the agreed upon price for those two tractors. I think that's a win. I think that is an absolute win. And now I need to run across over here and buy myself a new tractor because I have none. So let's do that. We'll see you when I'm done. Okay, so we have just bought that right there nice new new holland t7 very nice 310 horsepower i'm excited the little blue valtra i had 190 horsepower the massey i think was 170 so this one here is an extra 110 horsepower of the valtra that no Sorry, 120 horsepower more than the Valtra. This is the start of my low fleet. And I am really excited about this because this is going to be a good little workhorse tractor right here. I'm happy about this. But now I need to buy some more equipment because I just accepted a contract for bailing, silage bailing as a matter of fact. So I need to get all the equipment because I have none I have no equipment that's going to be able to, to mow that's going to be able to uh, wrap and bale and all that stuff so I'm going to change that right now all right so as you can see the money has gone way down way way down and this is why this is why it has gone way down. As you can see, a crone front mower, rear mower, and baler. We got the big extractor wrap right here and a bale loader. Oh yeah, the Anderson Stack Pro. Oh yeah, I am excited. I am very, very excited about all this. So, we've got a contract. Let's go and do it. So we've got... Ooh, that sounds really good. Okay, so we want... There we go. So this one, you can see... If you look at the front mower there, it's got these little deflector blades there, and you can adjust what kind of swath it does, which is really, really nice. There we go. Now we're going to head down and start mowing. I am really excited about this. So the field is this grass field, the big one right in front of us here. Oh man, that sound awesome. So let's, oops. 
Drop that down, unfold it. Okay. And now, let's take that down. And what we also need to do, see how that rear can adjust? We just need to adjust that in. Turn that on. And now, we are mowing. Ho oh, ho ho yeah. Look at that. Making a nice swath, making our way around. Let's see how well this does on the corners. Uh, yeah, it misses a little bit. Misses a little bit. That's okay though. Three hundred and ten blah, 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 three hundred and ten horsepower working really hard up the hill, using a lot of the horsepower just to power these mower decks. That's okay. It's only a few miles down from its top speed, so everything's all said and done, I will happily, happily accept that. There we go. Look at that, 14 miles an hour we're going with this setup. That's not bad. So we're just going to finish making our headland here and then we should have enough room to where we can turn a worker loose and just kind of go from there. Almost to the end of the headland. There it is, right there. All right, perfect. Alright, well at this point, I'm going to go ahead and cut us out, and I will cut us back in as soon as we're done mowing. We'll see you in a while.
we're all done with the mowing portion of this now we can go ahead and pick up the baler and make some bales and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take all the equipment back up to the shop here I'm likely gonna have to uh, figure out a way to get it back up to the farm it, eh, probably is gonna be back a bunch of back and forth but I don't know if I can figure out a way to avoid it, then uh, that's what I'm going to do. Let's see, so next is the baler. That there. That there. There we go. Now let me make sure that I'm on the biggest bale that this thing can make. Let's see. Here we go. Uh, now we're good to go. Okay, let's take this out and start making some bales. Okay, so come up here. Unfold. lower start picking up some grass oh yeah it's working real good nice
All right, so I am on the last row right here. Going to finish making my bales, and then I'm going to head back up to the store to pick up the next set of the equipment. There we go. Pop that out. Fold that up. Perfect. So now let's go ahead and head back to the store. And at the same time, I'm going to have a worker come and bring... Ooh, should have looked both ways. Uh, I'm going to have a worker bring my... Oh, my goodness, what am I doing? What is that? Oh, uh, I'm going to have a worker bring over my telehandler because I'm going to have to have a way to be able to load the bales into the extractor so let's go ahead and do that on top of grabbing the extractor i will uh, bring you back in as soon as we get everything over here Actually, just, something just dawned on me. Hmm. I need to make another purchase. I will bring that out as soon as I get it. We'll see you in a minute. And there it is. Picked up the bale stacker. So this is going to help out when we... Uh, get the telehandler we'll be able to make less trips we'll be able to just have a stack of bales instead of uh, instead of like one bale at a time and running grab drop off run grab drop off we'll just have a big old stack of them and go from there so let's go ahead and take this over and we'll make uh, stacks of threes go Alright, so this is working out pretty good so far. Ooh, there we go. Just have to finagle it just a little bit. not work out the way I wanted it to. Hey, come on now.
There we go. Alright, so I am on my last group of bales here. Just need to stack these up. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. There's two. There we go. We got all the bales off the field. Now we're going to take them to the other side where we're coordinating them all. Now see, I've heard of stone hedge. But is there such a thing as grass hedge? Because I may have just made it. There we go. Take that out of operating position. And now, we'll head back up to the shop where we pick up the actual wrapper. And on top of that, uh, the worker should have went and grabbed my uh, telehandler as well. So we can get a new tool for the telehandler as well. Let's see. So let's put this over here perfect and now let's go deliver this actually you know what let's hire a worker we'll have them take it over it's just a little ways but then I can focus on getting the new uh, tool that I need so let's go down here go perfect jump this all right let's get us a new bale spike all right we have got the new bale spike let's grab the telehandler and you can see it's right over there Perfect. This should work just fine. Especially for what I need it for. So what this will do is this will grab a hold of those square bales, hold them secure as long as I need them, and then once I get them over the correct position to be grabbed, I can then drop them down, it'll get caught up in the extractor, wrap them and then be good to go so let's see let's go this way that is the worst place a worker could have left that stuff let's see so come over here Perfect. Now let's go and grab this stuff. This will work out really nicely, I think. I hope at least. Helps if I was uh, turning on the engine of the right vehicle. There we go. So I think if we put this right here, perfect. Uh, nope, come on, there we go. Put that down. Unfold. Okay, now we should be able to grab the telehandler, extend that out just a little ways.
then as you can see it just continues to push and then I'll grab the next one perfect and there it goes and now we grab the next bunch And as you can see, it just keeps grabbing and grabbing and grabbing. And just makes one long silage bale. So you can see here we've got silage 6,500 liters. Every time it wraps a bale, it is creating a silage bale because this is a contract. So that's really nice. Oh, breaks, breaks, breaks. Didn't do a good job getting all of that one, but it looks like I got just enough. goes all right well at this point I'm just gonna keep on loading this up until all the bales have been wrapped just give the bales a little love tap make sure that I got them good and lined up all right we're getting ready to go grab our last stack of bales this has been going actually very very well very smooth i'm actually really happy about this let's see there we go so i just realized we went from grass hedge to the silage mile We've got us a long, whoops, there we go, a long row of silage. Take that one. Okay, well, now I should be good. Go ahead and close that up. No. I guess there isn't really a transport position on this, is there? Yeah, there we go. Fold that up like that. Okay. So I'm going to have a worker take this back to the farm. Let's go. If I don't need this anymore. There we go. And now, uh oh, no, 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 don't go, don't go, not cool, not cool. Okay, whew. I knew I got cocky before, I knew it. There we 
There it goes. All right. Now. There we go. So now we can hop back in here. Push this all the way through to finish the last bale. go perfect and now cut through all the wrapping to expose each individual bale And now we need to go ahead and take the wrapper uh, back to the store. And then we can grab the bale trailer and be able to load up the bales from there. So let's see. Let's go there. Perfect. Alright. So let's head back to the store. We'll grab the bale trailer. We'll meet you back over here. All right, we are back here on the field. Now. Load up 14 bales at a time. There we go, that's 14 bales. Now we need to go back to the farm where this is gonna get processed by the uh, biogas plant there. Let's, see, let's fold that away, perfect. All right, well, let's take it up there and uh, actually what we might end up doing is just, whoa, just take it up there full set and stop. We might just unload it by the uh, by the processing plant and that way we can just unload it into the uh, fermenter there via the telehandler. I think that'll probably be the best and easiest way because otherwise if I try and load all this into the hopper at once it's probably not going to end up looking pretty in the end. So I think this will probably be the better option than, than anything. So. I will go ahead and cut us back in as soon as I get there. See you in a bit. Alright, so I decided to come in the back way here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's that? Oh, hey! Nice! I found another one. Oh, you know what? I can send these through there, too. And then I can keep more square bales. Okay, so let's do this. Let's unload this. No, 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 no! What happened? Ay, ay, ay. What is going on? Oh, well, they're here. All right, well, I'm gonna go pick up the rest of the bales. Meet you over there. All right, I am back onto the field. Let's go ahead and load up the rest of these bales. I think one more trip should be enough. That's my guess at least. 
All right, so it's definitely not one more trip. It's going to be another trip and a half. bale right here there we go there we go all right back to the farm we'll see you over there all right pulling back into the farm let's see if I can stack these a little bit better than the last stack there go now we're talking that's the way it was supposed to be done all right let's head back to the field and get the remainder of the bales we'll see you over there all right coming up to the field again let's get this last stack going Back here at the farm for the final drop off. Let's see. Oh dear. Let's not do that. Okay, so there we go. That worked out well. And hey, helium deer. And now I should be able to go over here where they left my telehandler and be able to now start loading them into the uh, fermenter. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to grab those round bales first though, let's get those out of here and then I can only, well not can only, but will only deal with the square bales. Okay, so we've got... And there we go, we have just completed the contract. As you can see, $16,732 is now all mine. And 
all this silage is mine as well. So that is pretty nice. Now, let's see. Now I'm gonna very carefully go over to the bale storage because I really don't have uh, any room now in the uh, biogas plant here. So I'm just gonna store these for now and hopefully find them a good home over here. Okay, so I think, take it about right here. There we go. Huh. Okay. Let's go get the rest of the bales. Alright, so I've loaded all the bales except these three into the bale storage on the other side of the farm there. I am going to go ahead and drop these three into the fermenter. So one, make sure that it's nice and full. And then two, to just leave it uh, chugging along. So I think there's going to be more than what can actually be ingested. So... So that... Perfect. So as it chugs through all of that product there, it'll just knock out the ones that are just kind of standing. And we can see... 30,000 liters. It's just going to hang out there for a while. We have 16,000 liters of digestate. That's really good. So yeah, all in all, not that bad. I'm pretty happy with those results. We got all the grass care equipment now that we need to be able to do silage. The only thing we'll need at this point is a tether for when we do hay contracts. It's working out pretty good. Working out pretty good darn good. I am happy. Very, very happy with this. So let's go ahead and park this. Leave that right here. Perfect. And there we go. Alright, well... I think that is going to be an excellent place to leave it. We got a lot accomplished today. Three contracts. Well, four technically. And we got a new tractor. A new uh, set of equipment regarding grass care equipment. We have a new bale spike. We have got so much going for us now. And I am ecstatic about that. Now, we did lose you know, almost $300,000 today. But we're investing in our future we're making things more close to home kind of thing so now we don't have to worry about any contracts and borrowing equipment when it comes to grass care equipment uh or any kind of grass work you know we still have to buy the tether like i mentioned before but that's easy that's nothing uh, to worry about but yeah I like this setup. I like it a lot. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please show me by liking, sharing, subscribing, following, commenting, doing all the things the algorithms enjoy you doing. This shows you're engaged with this channel and enjoying the content. And that being said, I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.